think any new film that breaks the mold at the time that it's at um, will always be remembered because it, 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 it makes an indelible mark on people's minds and imaginations. And although there's been lots of films since which would probably throw Hellraiser kind of into kibosh, um, it stands out, it stood out in its time because it was going in a completely different direction. And also I think, I think Clive's attention to detail, he had a jeweler on set to make all of the, like, like Barbie's piece of jewelry here and the puzzle box and um, the items on my um, torture belt, which meant that they had a real intricacy. And I think that kind of attention to detail is throughout the film. He really, he really cared. I know when they were constructing and, and building the original designs for the makeups, Clive had a very much hands-on approach to it. And I think he cared across the board, um, every aspect of the film he cared about. Uh, not, not putting his own stamp on it, but just encouraging people to, to go that little bit further, to think that little bit darker, or just to go places they've never experienced before. And he has a great gift for doing that. I think that's why, more than anything else, that it, it stood out, stood the test of time. And we never thought we'd be here talking about it now. <laughs> I don't normally talk like this, <laughs> but we're at Horror Hound Convention. I've been talking for three, four days now to different fans who've come for the Hellraiser reunions. Uh, I've lost my voice. For me, Hellraiser was, uh, you know, when you're making a film, you have no idea what's, what you're doing, really, how it's going to be perceived by the public. I was very glad to meet people like Clive Barker because he is a genius. I think. And I, use, I don't use the word lightly, um, but it was just the people involved. Doug, Ken, Claire, Simon, Nico, Ashley, Lawrence, um, Emma Jean, all the people I met, and seeing them now, 20 years later, too, it is like a family. My summing up of the whole Hellraiser Hellbound experience and going on to write comics for Hellraiser as well is how fortunate I am, just how grateful and how fortunate I am to have been involved in something that has had such an effect on people. When I meet the fans when I go to conventions and so on and listen to the stories and what people te you know, tell me about it and having talked to people over the years about the Hellraiser, these are movies that have really stuck and struck a chord in people's minds. Um, I'm not saying that they change lives necessarily, but they've affected people's lives uh, to make, you know, open their eyes to other possibilities, other thoughts, and take a different view of what this stuff is about, and take a different view of what, well. So I'm just extraordinarily grateful to have been involved in it, and hey, what an enjoyable thing to be able to do.